Hi, Mr. Summers. This is Tamara Kay. George had spoken to me and requested that I call you. Yes, how are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm well, fine, thanks. I'm very concerned for Robert Richard. Um, he is a sovereign state, a public vessel, and um, you have, you know, everything that you need. I don't know what the uh, problem is here on his discharge, according to law. Well, um, you're from Michigan, I take it? No, 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 no. We're, we're in a different uh, location. All right. Well, um, uh, perhaps Mr. West and you misunderstand my function here in McHenry County. I'm what's called the public guardian and public administrator, and that's associated with the probate court. It has absolutely nothing to do with law enforcement. Absolutely. So, uh, absolutely. I think you have been misdirected to me. Um, I, oh, I no, don't no, uh, no. know if you want to be in touch with the sheriff or the clerk of the court here. I can give you those phone numbers if you need that, but uh, I have absolutely nothing to do with law enforcement. No, no, no. You are um, in, in the state of probate, and you are the conservator of McHenry County. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, and they're holding. Involved? They're holding. Does this involve an estate? Say that again. Does this involve an estate, either a guardianship or a decedent estate? Absolutely. What you're doing by holding him in the Lord Chambers of the Exchequer is discharging bankruptcy through the use of the human as a product. Well, um, several things have to be done, uh, not the least of which is I have to have in hand a written doctor's evaluation saying that a guardianship is necessary. I cannot consider a guardianship absent a medical opinion. Oh, no, you're, uh, already, you're already acting executor Dason toward as the guardian, as the conservator for McHenry County. You're discharging McHenry County's bankruptcy by using a human as a product. I have nothing to do with bankruptcy law, ma'am. Oh, oh, that's not what probate is then? No, that's when people die and there's, my function basically is as a last resort. People die and there's nobody coming forward to be the executor and there's right. no family he's members known, that type of thing. Right, he's so, already I mean, done I, I that. have nothing to do with what apparently Mr. Richard is involved in. Absolutely not. You have everything to do with the facilitation of commerce and navigation to discharge congressional bankruptcy by using the human being as a product, having declared him civilly dead and abjuring the realm. However, that is not the case in this instant. He is a public vessel. You are holding him unlawfully, etc. Et I, I am not in law enforcement. I am not holding him. I have no authority as a law enforcement officer. You're totally misconstruing what I'm about. And I received papers in the mail from Mr. West without attribution of any sort. He told me that it was a lawyer who had given him those papers to send to me, and I am a lawyer, and for one lawyer to serve another lawyer with papers and then not identify him or herself is preposterous on its face. Oh, so this uh, has to be done according to the rules of court. If people want to do it, file a case. I cannot file a case, all right? Somebody has to come forward and file a case. Somebody has to present a doctor's report saying that Mr. Richard needs a guardian. I cannot even consider it until those fundamental things are done. Yeah. As corporate counsel, you know exactly what's going on. No, I don't, madam. You... I don't. I have nothing to do with the McKenzie County Jail. Absolutely nothing. It's as far removed as it could possibly be from law enforcement. Right. Right. For people who have died without anybody to take care of their estate. Right, right. And without I, cause. I'm the last resort for people like that. So uh, you, you do have a very fundamental misconception of what I'm all about. Okay, just so you know, you have noticed you don't have clean hands in this matter. Um, it is sitting Madam, with, with the I insurance. I don't have notice. I have to be served by papers with an attorney. And two people have just slid papers under the door with no attribution from an attorney. That is preposterous. There's no way one attorney can have another attorney involved and not identify him or herself. All right? <laughs> I'm not holding anybody. You have an absolute misunderstanding about what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, okay. I don't know how you got my name in the first place. Okay, well, have a good day. You understand what I'm saying? You have to have an attorney involved. You Absolutely have to not. The court. You Absolutely have to have a not. I do not. I do not understand you in any way whatsoever. If you care to look at the nullification proclamation, you'll notice that you you're already in contempt by maintaining under you're statute not in and legislation. Of anything. What you're saying is preposterous. <laughs> you have an attorney. Have the attorney call me. That is the way to go about this situation.
situation. And for that attorney, whoever it was, to send me papers and slam them under the door without his or her name on it is preposterous. I will speak to your attorney, and that's as far as I can go today. I've tried to explain to you exactly what I'm all about, and for you to say I'm, I'm detaining people, it's absolutely preposterous. Okay, Please it, have your attorney call me. Yep, it's with the insurer already, so it'll have to be dealt with through that venue. Insurance? Absolutely. Uh, I have nothing to do with insurance either. You can call the State of Illinois Department of Insurance if you have an insurance issue. <laughs> oh, no, I don't play under your statutory provisions. Well, uh, if you want to do something in Illinois, you have to submit yourself to the court jurisdiction in Illinois. Oh, I mean, no, no, no. no way from oh, no, we state have you, like, the United me. States you Court. You must, 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 must call an attorney. Yeah, the United States Court has jurisdiction over McHenry County as well as over Illinois because they are acting under acts of commerce and private acts according to 28 U.S.C. Sub, uh, chapter 97. Madam, I have nothing to do with federal law. <laughs> Absolute That's the foundation of the restricted principle of sovereign immunity. And this call now. Please have your attorney call me. I, I believe that, that what's up. going to occur is that you'll probably get contacted by your insurer, and that that's what will have to occur. I mean, this is here. Here we are. We're not going to deal with, you know, wh what equates to a hostage situation and the demand for ransom, which is entirely unlawful on its face and so you will uh, probably be contacted no most likely by the, no by the insurance. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course Please not. have your attorney call me. Everything you're saying is preposterous. Okay. So if you have a further question, ask your attorney and then have your attorney call me. All right. Have a good day. Thank you.